you. Student staff and parents are probably just hoping for calm in schools today after another incident of students getting pepper sprayed by security guards inside a Norfolk school. This latest one on, uh, is the third incident, the third report in just over a week. And now the school board plans to do a review of the matter. Tell your side's David Culver live outside Granby High School where the most recent incident occurred. David, good morning. Don, good morning to you. It was a fight between two students right here at Granby High on Wednesday that led to security guards here at Granby High School to use their pepper spray. One of the students reportedly hit the guards, which also, of course, caused them to react using the pepper spray. Now, the question is, with this being the third incident in just eight days, why is this happening so often? I say dozens, most likely dozens, of course. In four years. In four years, absolutely. Norfolk students say it's nothing new. Students being pepper sprayed by school security officers trying to keep order. If the pepper spray comes out, you're going to get hit because they don't necessarily target one group. They just walk in spraying into the group and get to the fight as fast as they can to break it up. But it's this recent string of incidents in the past week that even has school officials questioning the pepper spray policy. So it's like all of a sudden we got a little frequency of things happening. It started last week at Lafayette Winona Middle School. A food fight got out of hand. 37 students pepper sprayed. Just this past Monday, another fight led to three more students getting sprayed. Two days later, two more students reportedly fighting for school security to unleash the canister. Norfolk Superintendent Dr. Richard Bentley says the school board will now review the school's policy. We need to look carefully at our practice and see if our practice matches, as po matches policy, okay, and then understand what we can do to improve. They'll review surveillance video, statements from witnesses, and protocol. And Dr. Bentley also adds that a few things could change in the schools in Norfolk to help prevent this. One is that they could add more security officers to the school. Another is that they could eliminate pepper spray altogether. Now, he says he plans to bring this issue up at the next school board meeting, which is November 16th. Reporting live in Norfolk, David Culver, 10 on your side.